one step at a time. What's going on my dudes, One Step here with a quick video showing you something that I found out the other day and I just could not believe it's actually part of the game. A lot of you might be going, well yeah, One Step, we all knew this, but honestly, it is so crazy. So we all know that any fighting game, you got overheads, lows, you got blocking, but you also have grabbing. And we also know that throws are unblockable. Like you, you can't block these. You can duck the grabs, yes. But the second you're like a centimeter up, you're gonna get grabbed. Now, why am I bringing this up? Well, two things. First, Mortal Kombat is very distinct in the way they do their throws and the way they have two throws. They have forward throws and they have back throws or neutral throws. Now, the reason why that matters is because in most fighting games, the way to counter a throw or like take a throw or get out of a throw is to simply just throw back. Like you just press your throw button and you'll escape the throw. Mortal Kombat is a bit different. They say, well, we have two throws. So there's actually two different ways to escape the throw. So if I want to escape, of, let's say a neutral or back throw, I have to press one or three right when the throw starts and then I can escape it like this. See, I press one. Press one again, I'm gonna try three. I'm gonna escape the throw, okay? But if he's gonna do a fourth throw, I gotta press two or four. So he's gonna try again, I'm gonna press, press four, okay. So first of all, throws are very powerful in that sense because if I grab you, then you have to guess, do I, have to, do I press one or do I press two? Do I press three, do I press four to get out of this throw? And if you guess wrong, well, then the throw is going through. And that can be frustrating, like if you really do call the throw, like okay, they're gonna throw right now, I'm gonna counter it, and you press one, but they actually did the forward throw, and you get thrown anyways, even though you called it. That can be frustrating. But the most frustrating thing about throws in Mortal Kombat that again, I just learned the other day that I had to make a video on because it's just wild to me. And this just further proves the point that throws can absolutely win game. They can change the tide of a fight and are honestly kind of OP in my opinion because like you can't just escape it. I learned and I'm teaching you right now that you actually, you can't be blocking to take a throw. Like if you're blocking and they grab you, you you can't take it, you can't counter, you can't escape the throw. And you just saw how easy I was escaping these throws a minute ago. I'm gonna show you the exact same thing, but while I am blocking, and you'll see that we're not gonna escape it. So I'm gonna block, I'm gonna smash one, I'm not gonna take the throw. Let's try it again. Nope, not happening. Let's try it one more time. Nope, not happening. So this is the crazy thing about throws, is like not only is it a 50-50 guess on like what I push to escape the throw, but now, even if I'm gonna call, I have to let go of block if you're blocking and then guess. So like that is just so broken, because if I see my opponent blocking, I'm gonna throw them and then no matter what, if they guessed or not, the throw is gonna happen. That's crazy to me, like you can't be blocking to escape throws? Then what's the point of blocking? I'm like, okay, I'm gonna block this, they're gonna grab me, I'm gonna escape the throw, wrong. The throw's gonna happen, just let it happen. Like, okay, I guess. So not only are throws broken in that aspect that it's a 50-50 guess, but also they're unescapable if your opponent's blocking, which is BS in my opinion. Another thing about throws is they actually do way more damage if you punish an up block from an opponent. So for an example, if we throw Garrus right here, right? We do our throw, it does like a what? 110, I think it is. Yeah, 110 damage. But if we bait out the up block and then you grab your opponent, look what the damage is off of a throw. So there's the up block, we'll just grab them. It's a throw punish, you'll see this here. 176 damage just from punishing an up lock off of a grab. We're adding 60 extra damage to just a throw. So what I'm trying to say here is you absolutely need to be implementing throws in your gameplay. And don't let the scrubs that they're saying like, don't, don't just spam throw. It's part of the game. You got to do it sometimes, especially if your opponent's calling all your blocks and whatever. Throwing has been part of fighting games since literally the dawn of fighting games. So utilize them. Don't hate the player, hate the game. I really don't like you can't be blocking and escape the throw. That is so frustrating. Am I going to use it? Absolutely. Absolutely, and you should too. If you enjoy fighting games, keep in mind we have new videos Monday and Friday and we stream at least twice a week. So subscribe here for more. Turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take it one step at a time.